background full of secrets and surprises and tonight she's going to share a story with us that's going to make us wonder how well we actually know our parents and their stories. <laughs> her story is simply called Choices. Please welcome Jackie Older. I'm not, sorry, apologies, I'm not going to tell you a story like that tonight because we changed the story and the technology failed us when I changed my intro. So my story tonight is um, actually called Choices and it's got nothing to do with my family, it's about me. So do you know that fear makes your IQ drop by 10 points on average? <laughs> Have you ever regretted a decision that you made when you were afraid? Perhaps like the one I made to say yes. <laughs> my relationship with fear was pretty normal until year 12 high school. Now I cruised through when I was in an A class, but we had a form of master called Mr. Monthly, and he was one terrifying character. He was scrawny, he big nose and a comb over and beady, beady eyes. He wore a suit and John Lennon glasses and never did a smile across that man's face. Well, at the beginning of the school year, he decided to give my class a motivational lecture. <laughs> Hands in pockets, swaggered up and down the aisles and said, you know, you 12, it's your only chance to get the marks you need. <laughs> So don't slack off and don't fail because you'll disappoint your parents. Oh you'll let the school down and you'll ruin your lives. <laughs> well, after that, the voice of doubt in my head was on steroids. Don't fail, don't slack off. On and on and on. About two months later, I got sick and I had several weeks off school. You can just imagine. The whole time that voice is going on and on. You're going to fail. You'll fall behind. It's all lost. It comes time for the doctor to give me the clearance to go back to school. I was convinced. I was doomed to fail. And there was no point going back. Trouble was, I couldn't bear to tell my parents that I'd arrived at that decision. So I didn't. I didn't tell them and I didn't go. <laughs> and my mother, how on earth I pulled that off? Well, at that time, my parents were um, both working full time and going straight after work to look after my elderly grandparents. I was the only child left at school, so I had some leeway. In the mornings, I'd get up and I'd have breakfast with mum and dad, wave them off to work, put on my school uniform, watch TV, read books, eat my lunch, put my dirty clothes in the washing at the end of the day. I wouldn't go outside during school hours. I didn't answer the phone or um, the front door. And on the weekends, of course, I went out and partied with my friends, all of whom kept my secret for months and months. Then came crunch time. One night at dinner, mum asked me, darling, what university do you think you're going to go to? And I thought, I can't do this anymore. So I looked my, both my parents in the face and I said, mum, I've got to tell you, I'm not going to university. What? Well, I can't sit my because I haven't been to school for four months. <laughs> Mum burst into tears. Dad just went silent. And I ran to my room terrified of what was coming. Eventually, they came in and um, gave me a hug. Mum said, honey, why didn't you tell us about that? 
And I said, well, I was afraid to let you down. But with their love and encouragement, I realised that it wasn't the end of the world, that despite the negative voices in my head and elsewhere, there were positive choices. But it was up to me. So I got myself a job and I went to night school and did my TAE. And uh, eventually I got myself a master's degree. I've had a career that's taken me around the world and across, across the country. And as a leader, I've tried to be a positive, encouraging and approachable role model. But most importantly, even though I still have those negative voices, I behave differently now. And I don't know if any of you out there have negative voices either inside or outside of your head, but if you do, I encourage you to silence them by thanking them for their opinion, <laughs> walking away and focusing your attention on your positive choices. <laughs>